Today we're going to show you how to do a plant-based parsnip risotto. It's ready to go. You just have to put it in the pan for a couple minutes and finish it with fresh ingredients. So you get a, a pan about nine inch. Just put it all in. Make sure all the product goes in the pan. And make sure all the rice is breaking down. And then you let it sit like this. Soon as it simmer, that's where you want to put a two minute time. It's a lot of work to start from scratch because you need a stock and you need to know what you're doing. Like you need to pearl the risotto and it's the pearling the risotto that makes it. And it's a very fine line when you're going to stop the risotto to be overcooked. It has to be al dente, but you don't want to stick it to your teeth. Local fresh seasonal ingredients. Right now we have the piece. It's uh, right in the season of the peas. Just add your peas into the risotto. You could do it with diced asparagus. You could do it with uh, kale. You could do it with beans. There's a lot of different things you can add on to your risotto. There's a few points when you're making food that you need to always really pay attention to, which is color and texture. So I'm going to walk you through here. The peas will give you the color you need. So here we're adding a little herbs. Herbs can be whatever you want to decide to use chive. I like chive with the peas. You can use basil, parsley, tarragon, anything you want on fresh herbs. And all you do here is just pour it right on the plate. This is about two portions. So you can do family style like I'm doing right now. Or you can just split it in different plates. Uh, I like to my risotto to be a side dish. Um, and I'll give you a trick to really make it uh, perfect. You just kind of Tap the plate or shake the plate a little bit. This is espalette paper. Uh, it's not spicy, it's just sweet. And then we're gonna add uh, Parmesan. Now this is plant-based, so you can use a plant-based Parmesan. I use it on Chamba menu in the past. It's actually great. You could do it with any other cheese and Parmesan too. Um, cheddar would be good, blue cheese would be good. It's important to buy your cheese in the whole block and grate it like this. It makes a world of difference in flavor. Eat nice texture is a roasted pine nuts. You could use hazelnut. I like hazelnut with it. I find walnuts a little too strong. So adding a little radish to it is gonna just ease the richness of the risotto. Et voila.